Ms. Brown from Ohio for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. While we sit here just two days away from a complete government shutdown, House Republicans want to distract the American public from their funding failure with a baseless impeachment inquiry lacking facts and foundation. This preventable shutdown threatens the livelihood of millions of federal workers, small business owners, seniors, and veterans, all of whom live in the districts of every member on this committee. In my home state of Ohio, nearly 60,000 federal workers will either be furloughed or forced to work without pay. I cannot overstate the impact this Republican shutdown will have on mothers and babies receiving WIC. In Ohio, there are 180,000 women, children, and infants whose benefits will be at risk. And in case that statistic isn't sinking in, let me just paint the picture for you. A new mother in Cleveland is trying to buy infant formula for her baby at the grocery store next week, only to discover that she has no WIC benefits to access. She cannot pay. If Speaker McCarthy and our Republican colleagues continue to value their egos over the well-being of American families, stories like this will become a terrifying reality for millions. Yet, House Republicans continue to prioritize political warfare over people's welfare. The speaker seems committed to promoting political games and protecting people's benefits over protecting people's benefits. Americans and our economy are being held hostage to the demands of the most extreme members of his party. It is painfully clear that Speaker McCarthy has once again handed control of the People's House to MAGA extremists. Rather than work with Democrats to get us out of the mess they created, Republicans are tripping over themselves, trying to distract and deflect the American people with this shameful show. The Department of Justice and the FBI under former President Trump spent five, five long years looking into these Republican conspiracy theories and debunked them repeatedly. So now, in a vain attempt to deflect from the chaos and confusion they are causing, House Republicans want to dig them up yet again. So Professor Gerhardt, what would you say is the primary flaw in the House Republicans' claims about President Biden? Well, I, I suppose I could say a lot, but the problem is that uh, the dots are not connected. The name that's been repeated most often in this hearing is Hunter Biden not President Biden. And the point of an impeachment inquiry is not about the, a president's son. It has to be about the president himself. And I don't think those dots have been connected. There have been lots of assumptions, lots of accusations, but not evidence. Thank you. These falsehoods about President Biden didn't change the will of the people in November 2020, yet my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are at it again, holding another hearing on baseless allegations, looking for facts that just don't exist. Instead of fulfilling our duty to govern, my colleagues threaten a government shutdown, dangerous for most and disastrous for our most vulnerable communities. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I will yield my time to ranking member.